bit of a treat today. Look at this, the Coraline 670. Now this is what I call a fishing boat. You've got a boat like this, we're gonna go miles offshore and test it out. Of course, that would be if we could find Ryan. And of course, as usual, he's 20 minutes late. So, what I get up at 4 a.m. again? I don't know. Well, it's now about 35 minutes later. So mental note, if you want Ryan here at five, time to get here at four. Today, we're gonna to show you something we've never done before on Fishing WA, live baiting very deep water wrecks. In fact, we'll be sending the live baits down over 100 metres. Fish tend to smash live, he's much harder than dead baits, but our first stop was rot nest and some very sandy spots to find some very perfect school whiting. We tied on bait chaser rigs with little prawn imitations, and once you've caught a few by baiting the hooks with muley pieces, you can often catch them on the jigs with no bait at all. With enough bait in the live well, all that was left was a 30 minute trip to Ryan's favourite wreck where literally anything could happen. More often than not, as soon as your live bait hits the bottom, you're on. Yeah, Ryan. I can feel it. My live is getting a bit of a whack as well. Oh. Oh. Boy, this has got some grunt. Not bad first job either. Yes. Come on. Oh, there you go. Oh, you too. Oh, we've got a bit of a, bit of a Mexican standoff here. I'm going the low speed, the low ratio. Yeah, I think you're right. Put more hurt on the fish. Whoa. I love using these formula reels, Ryan. They're just the most awesome thing for this sort of fishing because you've got the, the two speeds. Bang, bang, the button's in the, the low range. And now, absolutely, we've got some torque going here. Yeah? As soon as you hook those big fish, you just know to go straight that low ratio. And put some hurt on them. Exactly. I don't think I've got a Samson fish. No? I don't think so. You know, it could oh, be a skippy. I think we might actually be around each other, mate. I think we sure are around each other. The way, the way mine's biting, I'm reckoning head shakes, snapper or skippy. I think we've definitely got each other at some point. And that's, I think I've got a lot of line left to go. That's the thing with fish. That's a tight little spot here, nice little wreck just down the bottom. Colour. What have you got? Skippy. Oh, now that's that. a reasonable skippy, folks. Have a look at him. Have a look at that for a skip jack. Now, how tangled am I around you? Not very. Uh, there you go. There you go. Oh. oh, should I dare I? Yeah, there it comes. Have a look at that. It's like a golden trevally up at Exmouth, but this is like rottenness island. My goodness me. Look at that, bit of a pigeon pair, Steve. Wow, man. And that's, whoa, that's uh... <laughs> a couple of fine skippy. <laughs> and look at those two. Amazing, we'll get them off the hook and we'll give you a look. Hello, hello, oh, oh, do you come here often? <laughs> oh, tramps, tramps, how's that for a skippy, eh? Hey? Silver Trevally, just like you get at North Mole. Not quite that big at North Mole, mate, or everyone would be there. Unbelievable. Gotta love this deep blue water, look at that. Yep. After our initial success, there was no problem hooking more fish. You just had to get them through the sharks. Oh, that'd like be a that. fish there, Ryan. Oh yeah. That's Bring it on. One. Yep. That's what we wanted. Oh yeah. Oh, jeez. As soon as I hit the bottom, Steve, it's got a fair bit of weight behind. I don't know if I've got a maybe double header. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Oh, that's not good. You got a sharky boy. Uh, yes. Crikey. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> yeah. Woo. That's it. All right, now let's see if you can get one away from the sharks. Oh, I've got to get off the bottom of that wreck. Uh-oh. Um, ah. Oh. Yeah. Another one. And there goes that. We've got a big sambo. Oh, you should aim for the gimbal, actually. You don't just jam it down there, I just learned. Otherwise, you're jamming in something bad. So, look, he's taking your hook again. Oh, yeah, look at that. I got a big little sod. Oh! Ah, oh, there, 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 there goes mine too. The sharks are here, Ryan. That's a long one to the top. Go! Oh. Did 
you've seen metal jigs on the show before, obviously, and a lot of times they have this hook swinging from the top, but Ryan's also talked to you before about tying, I've got a 120 pound leader there, onto a mustard hoodlum on the bottom. That way, if the fish grabs the head, boom, he's on. If he comes up from behind and goes for the tail, whack, he gets uh, the bottom hook. So it's a very good way of making sure you're gonna get them one way or the other. All right, we're in. Oh, yes! Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. I reckon that's a skippy, Ryan. I don't think it's a sambo. But I could be proven wrong here, and it's a good fish. No certain amount of time. I'm glad you geared up for it. Not. <laughs> yeah, I thought I'd be a bit sporting. <laughs> that's very daring. Those guys are giving up. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Oh, God. Yeah. I don't spot with it yet. I tell you what, I, I went to Ranger Camping so I need some jigs. How many? Um, ten? <laughs> ten? What are you going to do with all them? Um, well, we've lost half of them already, so now they know. Eh? That's all we're going to do with them. We're going to feed them to fish. Oh, did you lose yours, mate? Yep. Whew. Yep, they go halfway up, mate. Mine's very far from halfway up. They don't mind a last minute search for freedom. No. If only they knew I was going to put it back anyway. Oh yes. Doesn't take long. It doesn't take long, innit? You know you're in fish rich waters. When you can drop a fish, oh, back into it. I lost him. There's mine. There it is. How's that for visibility, Steve? I, I can know. see fish all the way down. Skippy? That looks like a big skippy. Yeah. That's massive. Well, she blows. Look at that. Pink jig out of its mouth. Oh, I've only just got him, look. Oh, no wonder why we're losing a few, don't you? Yeah. Lightly being hooked. I might let this one go in the water, eh? Yes. Hey, mate. You didn't expect that today, did you? Hey. Actually, no, he's all right. Yep. I'll bring him on. Well, a brief pause while we stuck a uh, jig in Steve's hand. Jigging for Skippy. Off Perth, four or five, six kilos, you'd never believe it. Just remember, folks, this isn't the northwest, this is Perth. Oh, yeah, doesn't take long again. Oh. Now try and land this one, mate. You've oh, lost too many today. Ah. It's all part of the fun, that's sports fishing. Oh, yes, I just enjoy is. the hookup. The hookup's the best, mate, you know. Woo -hoo -hoo. That's yeah. like a... I agree. Uh, that ain't no skippy. I think you've got a turbo sambo. Mmm. Ah. <laughs> it was either that or lose on the line. <laughs> How are you going? Yeah. Have you got one of them? No. How come I got one of them? Talk about the drag. <laughs> is that how it works, is it? <laughs> Well, there's really just no mercy. You know what I'm like? It's a wreck right down there. I'm gone. I, I just did I got spooled here, mate. If you can land one, you're a better man than I. I've got the Pen 8500. Well, you got more line than I, too. The short pump of mine. Oh, jeez. And then a short burst of mine. And another one. Crikey. Okay. What the hell have I got here? Uh, there's a bit less energy in that one, I think. Hey, that's some colour, mate. Absolutely. Mate, I'm breaking out in a bit of sweat here. A bit of sweat? Oh, well, I thought it was going to be cold morning, so I wore the jeans and the long fishing WA top. And that's a big bit of colour, Steve. Look at that. Oh yeah. Fought the good battle. What I'm going to do now is just slow it down. So I want to just release all the bubbles, all the air out of its air bladder system. Which means it's going to be a lot easier to release. Come on. Oh, Good. that's a big one. Oh, look at that. That is a big one. I don't know how are we going to get this on board? 
maybe like this. Maybe one, two, three. three. Watch the hooks. <laughs> Woohoo! Yeah, that's an okay one. Look at that. <laughs> I think that's what might have smoked me. Now that's one massive Sambo, but on close inspection, Steve and I have talked about this one, that looks like an amberjack. Agree with that one? I think it could be. I've only caught one, and they're generally, as you say, shorter, fatter, and they've got bigger scales. But I tell you what, let's uh, get it back in the water. Look at the girth on that fish. I know. As I reckon now holding this fish, Steve, I reckon you're closer more like to like 30 kilos, eh? Yeah. 70 odd pound, massive fish. Slide him over this way. I must admit, that Grifton jig gets the big fish. Oh. Um, come on, off you go, off you go, off you go, <laughs> poke him with a thing. Ryan, that's one hell of a day of live bait and jigging here off Rider on Rex. Absolutely, my heart's going, the adrenaline's running, blood pumping through the veins, this is awesome. Huge skippy, and if that wasn't an amberjack, it's still a huge sambo. You've seen it all today, and it's right here in Perth, eh? You can't go wrong. <laughs>